Hey, what's up Reefers? Before we dive into today's Tank Update video, I want to share with you a contest that's happening locally in DC, Maryland, Virginia area. Some members from WAMAS getting together to do a Zoanthid Grow Out contest. What that means is that you're going to do a buy-in, in this case $35, and you will get a single polyp of cornbread fang banger Zoa. And we're going to try our best to grow it, and after I think half a year, we'll compare and see who grew the most polyps. Now the timing is a little bit tight because we have a club meeting this coming Saturday, uh, that's April 22nd, and the frag is going to be passed out there. So if you want to join the contest, you have to be local and you have to attend to the, uh, to the club meeting, unless you can get somebody else to uh, pay and pick up the frag for you. There is really limited spots, there's a um, total of 12 frags, and I think 5 of them is already called for, so there's only 7 spots available. So if you're interested, I'll have the link down below. Leave a message or message Mary, she's the organizer for this contest, thank you so much for all your hard work as well as uh, uh, Solomon Seth, I believe, that's providing the frags. To be clear, nobody's profiting from this. All the money goes straight to purchasing the frags. All right, I apologize if not in the DMV area. Let's get on with the update, shall we? fish video. I added two yellowtail damsels and one bottail damsel to the drop-off tank. Unfortunately, the bottail damsel died the very next morning, and in hindsight, the same tank at that local fish store had two dead fish, but I was overconfident, especially since damsel is supposed to be super hardy, but lesson learned. While picking up some fish food from Petco the very next day, I noticed three small green chromis in one of their tank. The employee told me that these guys had been in the tank forever, I know that Chromis may be a little bit fragile, but if these guys did so well in there for so long, they are obviously strong survivors, so I ended up bringing them home. The original three Chromis have been in the tank for close to two and a half weeks now, and they are some of the healthiest fish I've ever seen. They are full of vitality and spunk. And those three were like a wolf pack. Super fun to watch, and super fun to feed. So earlier this week, I was at Petco again, and they have just received a new shipment. So I brought back another 3 chromis in order to form a shoal. It has been 5 days and they are all eating like pigs. Chromis has a tendency to drop one by one over time due to infighting. So far the yellow tail damsel seems to be keeping them too busy for infighting, so I got my fingers crossed. I know Petco gets a bad rap, but I honestly have not lost a single fish from Petco in these past 2 years. I have purchased 3 Bangai Cardinals, a yellow clown goby, a blue tang, a bicolor blenny, and now six green chromis. All of them super healthy. So I guess maybe not all Petco were created equal. All the corals are settling into the aquascape nicely and look a lot more natural. The frags I picked up from the Mason Dixon frag swap are slowly acclimating to the tank, with the Fruit Loop Zoa being my favorite pickup from the swap. Sadly, the gold torch I picked up is more of a green shade under my light, so I may move it to the 45 gallon and see how it looks under the Radeon. The green star palomette is growing well, and the Vietnamese orange skirt zoas are beginning to encrust onto the rock and spreading. The feta dendro is without a doubt one of my favorite corals in the drop off tank. It is always open and ready for food, and feeding it is so interactive and fun. It came with three heads and one baby initially, and it has since sprouted two additional baby heads. They are super slow growing, but it is good to know that this mini colony is doing well. I have been spending more and more time every day just sitting in front of this tank and observe. With the addition of the green chromis show, this tank is quickly becoming my favorite tank out of the two. I was having some major issue of keeping the bottom deck clean, but after exiling two Scarlet Hermits to the bottom deck, things got a lot easier. The Hermits were able to break down the snail poop further, and I now only need to siphon the bottom once every 3 days or so. I also picked up a plastic scraper with handle from Petco, so I finally have a way to address the hard to reach Caroline algae growth on the bottom deck. The Hydro Slim Nano Skimmer has been performing adequately. It was pulling out some really nice skimmate the first few days, but now it produces relatively clear skimmates. I would like to think it's because the water is clear now, but I need to do some water tests to confirm. 
It also started putting out a lot of micro bubble into the tank, so I need to look into what happened, and I may need to do the hot glue mod where I would seal up all the seam. I also added a polyfilter pad temporarily. Because with the new fish edition, I want to help the tank by having more mechanical filtration. So this way, all the uneaten food and the fish poop will leave the tank before they have a chance to really break down. It has been almost half a year since I started this drop-off tank with the purpose of testing out the ONF Flat 1 light that came out of Taiwan. So far, I'm very happy with how reliable it is and how well my corals responded to this light. There is minimum shadowing, zero color blending issue, and the intensity seems to be perfect for all the corals and sea anemones I have in the tank so far. While the hardware is fantastic, I do wish that the mobile app is a bit better. I wish I could set multiple timers with different light spectrum, and if I'm out of the house and somebody accidentally touch any of the button on the light, that would take the light off the automatic schedule, and there's no way for the light to reset the spectrum or re-enable the timer again. This is a pretty big issue. I will do a more complete review of the light in the future video. In a nutshell, I am very impressed by the hardware, but the mobile app has room for improvement. If you want to learn more about this light, I will include a link to their website in the video description below. I believe they will be selling in the US soon, so look forward to that. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this update. Also, check out my Instagram inappropriate reefer. I post a lot of unique content on there as well as behind the scene. As always, thank you for watching and please leave a comment, I would love to hear from you.